This is an organization episode. We're getting our farm organized. That's what this is. Some of you are probably bored to tears, and some of you are probably interested in what I'm doing. Hopefully most of you are interested. Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy came in, and in this episode, we are going to make some big purchases and make some big changes to our farm. Um, So, where to even begin? <laughs> I've spent some time, uh, quite a bit of time, in fact, off camera trying to figure out what I wanted to do, and I think I, think I have it figured out. So, we're going we're gonna to purchase three at least three new buildings and we're going to turn this part of the of our hay field that I'm looking directly at across the way there into a yard and we're going to do some changes over here in the main yard too so I think what I want to do to get this ball rolling is we're going to work on on this part over here first Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to, I guess I'm already on sheds. We're going to purchase this ridiculously expensive shed here for $340,000. Um, it's, it's like insanely expensive. This one's even more expensive. But, um... This one would actually generate money though, because it's um, it's got solar panels, but it's not really what we need. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to here and grab this shed. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it this way, so it's going that direction. It should be parallel with that road, which it is. And I'm gonna place it So that it's more or less lined up with the edge of this field here. It doesn't necessarily have to be perfectly lined up with that field, but close. Okay, and then... I'm just trying to find the best camera angle to do this. I might have to set it down and then pick it back up and set it back down and pick it up a few times to get this exactly the way I want it. Um, cause I have to, you know, the problem is I have to kind of look at it from multiple sides here to get it right. Um, that seems about where I want it on here. So why don't we do this? Why don't we go ahead and plop it down there? And it's back a little further to the left than I wanted it. It looks pretty good up through here. It's a little far over this way. Okay, so, but now we have a footprint though. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick it back up. And we're going to replace it, but I want it more over this way and back this way a little further. So I'm thinking maybe somewhere right about here. That still gives us plenty of room to drive up and go through here. Okay, yeah, I think uh, I think I like that. Now we're going to turn all of this grass patch into gravel uh, because it's going to become a yard. Thank you. 
we should probably have a little bit more of a border along that field there too I'm thinking in fact I I think I'm gonna put a road back in along through here I'm gonna try and get my angle right at zero degrees does it okay you know what 0 0.1 is good <laughs> um, all right now we're gonna go to paint T paint team we're gonna bring this back up to here and what I'm gonna try and do this time is keep the mouse still and move with the arrow keys okay it's yeah. And that's not that's good because we can just touch this up. Just gotta be in fact that's so good that I'm gonna do another save. <laughs> Alright, now all we have to do is just carefully trim this little piece here. I want to make sure we're not too far in. There. That's nice and straight. And then for here, let's change this to a circle. And I'm going to just kind of... This was the original driveway in, so I'm just going to kind of follow it in like that. That works. Might even smooth this point. <clears throat> up a little tiny bit too actually you know what that's good I'm not gonna mess with that okay so we have a little roadway going in there now what we're gonna do is once again get back to zero degrees or yeah 0 0.1 is good and change this back to a square and go up one size bring it back just a little bit more. Yeah, I kind of screwed it up right at the end, but because it's right at the end, I don't care. It's good enough. Okay. And we'll paint that away. All right, good. That works. Okay, so now, for down here, I think what I want to do is let's turn this back to a circle and just kind of fix these little bits here. Don't necessarily have to get all of that that part okay now this isn't too bad but it's it's still a little a little bumpy so I could do one of two things I could make this whole yard level with the shed which is gonna create more of a bank over here but it would just make everything nice and level um, or I could just smooth it, which would be way less expensive. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and smooth it first. And if I don't like it, then we will we'll level it. So let's just do some broad stroke smoothing here. Yeah, let's, let's go with that and... I can always, you know, change it, change it later if uh, need be. While we're in the process of doing some smoothing, I want to... i got a big old bump right here. So let's relax that a little bit, because sometimes I hit that and it sends me flying. Okay. Oh, it kind of made that go up in the air, but that's right. I don't care. Whoops. 
All right, so yeah, this uh, this should work for over here. And the reason I wanted to do this shed first is because we're going to need to move some stuff into here. Now, what I like about this shed is it's 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 pretty deep, so it's going to be long enough to fit our longer um, equipment, like our big, you know, uh, low boy trailers, for example. Uh, what I don't like about it is that it doesn't have any lights. Not that that's that a huge deal, but you know, for as much money as we paid for the daggone thing, <laughs> it should have lights in it. I mean, for Pete's sake. And then it's got this little catwalk pipe business thing, but I don't even know what that does. It doesn't. I don't think it does anything. I think it's just there for decoration. Um. So you know, it gives us a a, a nice big shed and deep shed that we can. You know, a, 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 along with the other things that I'm going to build here, uh, we'll have lots of storage space. Okay, so now let's come on over here. And we are going to start moving some stuff out of the way because we're going to make some big changes over in our yard over here too. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out the man truck. This still isn't a bad place to store the man truck, but if I if I take it out and store it in the new shed, what it does is it opens this up and it and I could potentially use these little cubbies for some of our real small implements, which I think I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's start by getting this trailer and the two low boys over into the new shed. I mean, there is so much depth in here. We could even put something in behind this that we're not, that we don't use very often anymore. I think I'm going to do that. So we can really maximize the space. All right. So that being the case, let's just drop this off over here for now. Okay. What's something that we have that we don't really use that much anymore? I mean, honestly, we got this trailer here. That's going to be a bear to back that thing in there, though. I'll probably just manually put it in there. I guess the other question I really need to ask myself, though, is if we have something we're n we haven't used much anymore, maybe we should sell it. Um, we don't use the cultivator anymore because we have a direct drill, and I don't do contracts anymore. I just don't have time. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. We, we've got enough going on on our own farm now. It's big enough to where we don't need to be doing work for anybody else. Um, we don't even really use the curtain side anymore either for that matter, but I don't know if I want to get rid of that. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I should get rid of the curtain side. Man, I don't know if I want to... <laughs> I don't know if I want to get rid of the cultivator either. Uh, we do use the... Well, we haven't even really used the bale pickup, though, trailers either. You know, now that we've been doing silage. Okay, well, you know what? I'm not going to get rid of anything, I don't think. We're just going to keep it because you never know. We have the we have the space for it. The important thing is is that we put stuff in back in deep behind that we're not going to need to access frequently. Um, which is just about everything in this little shed over here, except for the combines. Really, if you think about it. Um, so maybe what we could do... You know, on the other hand, though, I mean, we might have... S decisions, decisions. See, everything in this shed, except for the balers, we use all the time. So all of that stuff needs to be easily accessible. Uh, 
Okay, so here's what I'm going to do then. Let's grab... It's quite possible that we will never use this cultivator again. The one thing it is good for, though, is it can also create fields, and it's got a much wider area than the subsoiler. But what I'm going to do is... I'll put it in back first, and then we'll put the cramp trailer in front of it. So, yeah, I mean, we don't need to sell this stuff. we got lots of money. We're doing good. I'm just going to hang on to it because I might want it again sometime. Maybe even if I don't, well, it's okay. Whatever. Okay, so let's get this all the way back in the corner. Now, we also have the other cultivator that I'll probably never use again. <laughs> so let's grab it from over here. Okay, that's good. Now we'll put the cramp in front, because we use this more frequently. Uh, I'm not going to use this, I don't think I'm going to use this feed mixer anymore. The one thing I could try and do with it though, and see if I, is see if I can use it to blow straw. Hmm. What if I get closer up to here? Yeah, it's not giving me the, the trigger to blow it, uh, blow the straw. Turn on mixer wagon, that shouldn't matter. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to say it's not working because the straw blower, we would have seen the trigger. Very good. Okay, so that can go there. You know, I think I'm going to pull the cramp back out and put the two low boys up against the wall just because they're a little longer. I mean, it's not, I don't really need to, but I'm going to do it anyway. Look at that. All right. I like it. I like it. All right. Now, let's go ahead and keep getting stuff from over here. We, we use the metal rollers all the time. We use the sprayer frequently. We use the V-rakes quite a bit. We use the cedar quite a bit. So all that stuff needs to be easily accessible, but it's got to leave this shed. Uh, we do not use the balers and haven't for actually a long time, but I'm not going to get rid of the balers. So we're going to stash those in behind too. Very good. All right, now uh, let's go ahead and grab the big planter because it's it's fairly long, and we'll put those in front of the baler. 
or put it rather in front of the baler. Here, let me get this truck out of the way and turn it off for now so we're not expending fuel unnecessarily. Man, this is a big piece of equipment. My my little McCormick can barely even pull it. <laughs> All of the rest of that stuff needs to stay towards the front or otherwise easily accessible. But you know what we might be able to do with... No, I don't think I want to do that. Um, these, everything here except for the combines, like I said, can go towards the back, including the curtain side. So let's grab and get these out of here next. Okay, I want to try something with the header, uh, combine headers. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to see if I can get the axle lock function to work with that, because if I can, then I can, uh, I'll be able to back those in. If I can't, then... Um, we might have to figure something else out. Okay, now, can I get the axle to lock on this? Uh, what key is that? This key? Or that key? I don't even remember what key it is. I haven't used that in such a long time. Oh, we want to go to key bindings and way the heck down here. Uh, it is the left bracket key. Okay, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Yeah, I think I think I tried that at one time. I mean, this is a sort of kind of cheesy, but I guess I could kind of back it up like that if I had to. Uh, but I really would like to get, you know, the header under cover. I guess the, the case header has been undercover all along, but that one hasn't. Well, we, we've pretended like we were putting a tarp over it, I suppose. Alright, well here, let's take and put this on here. With what I have planned in the near future, we will pro it will probably buy the next big combine that comes up for sale and sell this little guy or even keep it and have three combines i don't know we'll see so for the combine trailers what i'm going to do with these i'm going to i'm going to put them over on this end of the shed because uh, we will definitely need to access them, you know, at least once a year, once or twice a year anyway. Okay, so can I just kind of cheese it? <laughs> this isn't going to work, is it? 
I mean, it is possible to back these up. It's just not easy to do. We have to make... We have to get it, the tongue straight and make really small movements. Part of the problem is I can't see very well with the shed in the way, so let's try it from this angle. Yeah, this actually works quite a bit better. There we go. Alright, so we're up against the wall there. Things in the way. I'm just gonna nudge it a little bit so it's all the way over like that. That looks pretty good. Uh we we'll go here, we go to headers, we go to or no, I guess we're we must be leasing this header. Yeah, we're leasing to own it. Combination. So we need the N6045. Okay. N6045. This guy right here. And we'll just lease to own this thing too. Yeah, it's about it's about time we got this incredibly expensive header undercover. <laughs> Even covering it with a tarp is not ideal. I'm gonna shove this over just a little bit more. It's probably not something you could move in real life, but in case you guys didn't know, this isn't real life. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Me likey. Okay, cool. So that takes care of our headers. Um. Yeah, that looks okay. It might be not perfectly straight, but it's straight enough. So that gets this shed completely emptied out. Um, so let's, uh, let's do this. Let's go over to... Oh, we have this trailer here. Yeah, let's get this trailer in the back. Oh, for Pete's sake. You know what? I'm tired of fighting it. Let's just go here and turn off manual attaching. For now. I won't keep it off forever, but we'll do it for now. Over that way a little more, but not too much. Not too much. Or a little jackknife. Yeah, okay. Well, we got it part way in. Let's get it straightened out and then we have to cut it hard that way to get it around the trailer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> oh, cut it out. Oh, I guess we have that off, don't we? I mean, I, I could have definitely done it, but I don't want to spend the next 10 minutes screwing with it. So we're just going to fudge a little bit. All right, now let's go. I don't think there's anything else over in the main yard there that's that we want to put in the back. Uh, but we may have a few things over here we could still do. Okay, we don't use the windrower uh, or the tether much anymore. We don't use the sausage tube. We do use the other stuff, though. Okay, so let's grab the two hay implements and the sausage maker and put those in the back, and then everything else is going to be stuff we're going to, you know, use more frequently.
all right um let's see we said we were gonna also bring over the sausage maker that's the next thing we'll need the subsoiler before we'll need the stone pickers so let's put the stone pickers in first and then put the subsoiler in front of it uh, looks like this needs to be moved over this way a little bit too and maybe even out a bit because it's right up against the tether and then we'll put this in front of these two guys good all right we're getting there guys we're getting there this isn't this is an organization episode. We're getting our farm organized. That's what this is. Some of you are probably bored to tears, and some of you are probably interested in what I'm doing. Hopefully most of you are interested. Uh, we don't use that that hay clamp thingamadoodle much at all anymore. So, I'm just going to manually grab this. I know it's a little unrealistic, but you know, I hope all this stuff doesn't get all screwed up when I log out and back in all this loose stuff. If it does. That's going to be a bit frustrating after going through all this work, but what can you do? Okay. All the rest of that stuff we use on a fairly regular basis. What I'm thinking of is I, I might not, I might not remove that shed. I might leave that shed there. And I'm definitely going to keep this shed over here. Because this is our this is our animal shed. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it there for now. I, I got to think about that some more. I mean, we certainly have enough room to move everything over into the new shed, but it kind of makes sense to keep things like the manure spreader and the slurry tank and the, um, you know, the slurry reservoir, all that stuff over near the cow barn. So even though we have room to bring it over here, it might not make a lot of sense to do that. Let's get this stuff moved next. We definitely use the sprayer when we plant new arable fields. So we want that to be easy to get to. We'll put the sprayer here and then I'm going to grab that roller and put it next to the cedar. Because that stuff all kind of goes together. It's all for creating or planting not creating, but planting fields. What we could do is use this little shed here for all of our tippers. Uh, and maybe even for the for the uh, forage wagons. And it, it's not it's not a bad thing at all to have extra space because you know we have room to expand for more equipment later on. You know, now that I think about it, I think I'm going to swap places with these. Because this one's a little narrower. And by the way, you guys didn't see me just do that. Man, it is... <laughs> it's really going to suck if this stuff gets all messed up when I log out. Like it used to do, you know, over in the other shed. I'm going to be quite irritated if that happens. Okay, that's good. I did it again. It's just muscle memory. Alright, looking good, man. Looking good. We don't really use our, our field repair unit 
well, we've hardly used it at all, but it's not something I want to bury either because if we do end up needing it, I want it to be readily accessible. And actually, we I have a different plan for this anyways now that I think about it. So let's just take this over here for now. All of that stuff that's sitting in there, we could potentially move inside the barn. Though it actually, you know, where it currently is works pretty good. Um, okay. I'm going to hold off on this a little bit longer. Because the more I think of it, the more I like the idea of putting all the tippers and the forage wagons in this shed over here. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, all the animal stuff in the other easy shed. There, that looks good. I like it. Two more things to do over here, and then we're, we'll move on to the next thing. I want to move the slurry tank in under cover. Um, this one also does not have axle lock, though. So we'll see if we can do our little trick with the first person and move it in that way. It was easier to do with the header trailers because it was... I don't know if it was because the tongue was longer on them, and plus I could see a lot better too. Oh, we hit the daggone pole. That's all I have the patience for. <laughs> I wish my hitch lock were, you know, worked with these things, but it works on some and not on others. I don't know why. Okay, so we'll put this right on the end, and that still leaves three bays for expanding later on if we need them for something. Plus, we still have a ton of room in the new shed, too. There we go. Stuff isn't perfectly straight, but it's good enough. Nice, neat, organized farm. That's what we like. Until I log out and it gets all screwed up. <laughs> okay, so... What I'm going to do with all of this stuff is... Uh, well, we're gonna go. We're gonna put them in the new shed, and I'm. I think for now I'm just gonna line stuff up along the back wall because we don't. I don't have anything else to put in front of it for now. And then as we expand. This stuff will will adjust it when that time comes. That's looking good, man. Look at all that beautiful organization. I like it. Okay, so. Now, the next step. I'm going to come over here. And we are going to... Hop out of the tractor and we got to get the... These guys out of the way. So let's do that next. I want to get the the dually the dual tires back on here, um, because they need to be on there for spacing reasons. Uh, let's see, wheel setup, twin wheels, customize. Okay. Alrighty. 
Now, we're going to do a game save. And we're going to go into the build menu. We're going to get rid of this, and I'll reset it down later. We're going to get rid of this. We are going to get rid of this. And we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to get rid of this. Okay. Let's save again. Now, um, if you guys remember, that shop had a... Um, you know, had the, um, I can't remember what you call them, but where you, you know, you go, oh, pits, they had pits in them. And so that's why there's holes here. So we have to fix this hole first. Uh, so we want to go to landscaping. We want to go to raise lower, set that to a square and make it that big. Uh, maybe even maybe that big. Well, maybe not that big. And raise that up to about there. Now we're going to switch over to level. All right, good. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of... these trees right here and we're just going to use the lumberjack mod to get rid of them the big elm can stay yeah okay good okay let's come over here Get back into this menu. And what I'm going to do here is go to landscaping and painting and this texture. And I'm going to get rid of this brush here. Okay. I think that's good. Now, let's come over here. Oh, it's starting to snow. It is still January. Let's do another save. And we're going to go into buildings, sheds, and we're going to pick this machine shed six doors. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be our new garage. And it's a very nice building. I played around with it a little bit off camera. And we're going to keep all of our expensive machinery, our tractors, our combines, and that sort of thing in here. I want to bring it back probably that far. I can't tell how close to the house it is, so let's set it down. And then if I have to pick it up again... Actually, that's good. I think that's fine, just where it is. And that's back about as far as I want it to be, too. Okay, cool. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of landscaping back here. So we're going to go to lower. And we're going to bring the ditch back through here. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that. Let's do another save. And we're going to place one more building. 
And that, as you can imagine, is going to come over here. Oh, actually, here, once again, let's just remove these smaller trees on this side of the bank. Okay, I think that's probably pretty good. We need to actually move our cell. Look at that, man. Doesn't that look awesome? It's our new garage. So cool. We'll go inside and take a look at it here when, in just a little bit. Do another save. All right, now let's go back into here. Now what we're looking for is another mod. And it is this large enclosed sheds. Uh, I think it's called American Sheds mod or something like that. And we want to make sure that we have this side of the building facing right and these bay doors facing this direction. And then we want to put this right about in the center here and far enough back to where... Well, we don't want the, those elm trees clipping through. So probably right about there is good. Now let's place it, but then look at it from this side. Actually, you know, that's not bad. It, it, it's better to have a little more room on this side than it is on this side, because there's no door on this side. And yeah, we're right at the edge of that branch there. So if we went any further, it would probably clip through. So I think... I think I like that. Or do I want to move it back just a smidge? Um, can we still pick it up and get all our money back? This is sucker's expensive, man. Three hundred twenty-six thousand. Yeah. All right. Let's pick it. Uh, pick it back up and set it back down again. Um. It's really kind of hard to see the footprint now, but that's okay. Oh, no, I can actually use that little corner there as a guide. I think. Use this corner. All right. I want it to go back a little more. Um, let's try that. Okay, what we have to do is we have to go inside and just see if the tree is clipping through. If it's clipping through a tiny bit, I probably won't worry about it, but if it's clipping through a lot... Yeah, see, that's... That's fine. I mean, we're not even going to notice that. Okay, good. Alright, guys, this is my new workshop. Check this place out. So it's got this big, ginormous end door here. Uh, let's turn the lights on. It's got these two bay doors here. And it's got racks for pallets. So we can start storing our pallets there. Oh, doggone it. I can't do anything about that. And it's a workshop. So basically, we can drive in here to customize or repair our vehicles. So I really, um, what sold me on this more than anything else was the fact that it had these pallet racks in it and it's a workshop and it has really good access from, you know, this side and this side. Uh, it was, it was expensive as all get out, but it's a very, very cool workshop. So I think I'm going to be really happy with it. All right, nifty. Okay. So. The last part of this episode is we're just going to move stuff into our new buildings. So for the for that building, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to keep uh, we're going to take the forklift out of here, which I haven't driven in years. 
<laughs> it's still got a full battery. Um, whoop, wrong way. Um, because, you know, we have those pallet racks in there. When I have leftover, like, um, uh, lime and, and fertilizer and stuff like that, we're going to put those on the racks. And I'm going to just keep the... Uh, I'm just going to keep the forklift in there, too. That's where it's going to live moving forward. So I probably... I think I might have some pallets over here. I'm not, I don't remember now. Let's just take a look. Uh, yes, we do. Okay, cool. So let's grab these. So yeah, as we have, you know, extra pallets left over uh, of lime in particular, because, you know, the fertilizer and the seed we can just put back into the, the bulk bins, uh, we now have a place to store it, which is really cool. We'll just stick this one down below. Okay. And we'll just park our forklift here. Um, actually, no. What I'm going to do is park it this way. Because we're also going to bring the, the service trailer in here, too. All right, cool. Makes sense to have the service trailer inside of the gay garage. You could, you couldn't pick this up in real life, but you could definitely pick it up by the tongue and, and wheel it. So we're just going to do this by hand. Very nice. All right. I probably won't. I'm not really necessarily planning on parking any vehicles in here, but I mean, we could. If we wanted to, we certainly could. But for now, I think uh, we'll just close the door, shut the lights off, close the big door. That sounds awesome. And yeah, we got ourselves a workshop. It's fantastic. Okay, last thing we're going to do is get our machinery put away in our new garage. So we also have lights in here. And it's quite a spacious garage. It even has like skylights and everything. Um, this prop, what is this one control? Yeah, that one. Really neat mod. These are all on Mod Hub too, so. Um, these are called the, what are these called again? They're the, the composite, yeah, composite machine sheds. So there's, there's a, a three bay, a four bay, a five bay, and the six bay, and the six bay is the one we have. Um, all, and let's see, the other shed we did was this one. Actually, I think that's a base game shed. And then these other ones here are on Mod Hub too. Uh, but like I said, I think these are called the American Shop Buildings or something like that. American Sheds. All right. So, yeah, let's start putting our, our vehicles in the garage. All right, guys, <laughs> it's done, finally. Wow, isn't that cool looking, though? I love it. And we even have space for, for expanding for another vehicle if we have to. <clears throat> so that concludes our 
farm ex uh, farmyard expansion and new shed uh, setup. And we are going to um, run with this for now. And we still have, like I said, have room to expand both in here in the big shed. And uh, we could even, you know, if it, if it comes down to it, came down to it, we could even uh, park a few vehicles in the in the workshop too, if we had to. Um, or, you know, both of these vehicles and, for that matter, the tractors aren't very long, so we could put less used vehicles behind them and the tractors in front too. You know, if we if we had to to do so, I might actually move the combines over up against the wall and move these guys over but i'm not gonna worry about that right now so cool all right guys well that is it uh it took me does that door not work i guess not <laughs> does this door work uh it took me a long time to do this i mean especially with the um you know all the time off camera time that i spent trying to figure out the right buildings and where i wanted to put everything so yeah, this was this represented many hours worth of work, but I uh, really enjoyed it, and I'm really happy with how everything came together. So let's talk about what's coming up next. Uh, it is January 3rd. Um, I haven't, we didn't really go through finances, but I might, I might raise this up here and, and level this more up with the yard. Um. I still haven't decided for sure if I want to do that yet. I, we don't need to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. We don't need to do that, but it might be kind of nice to do it. We'll see. Man, this is awesome. Look how much space we still have in here. This is crazy. <laughs> we have so much room. Um, this looks good though. And I like, you know, I like what we did over here too with putting all of our tippers in this shed and all of our animal equipment in the other shed. So this looks really good too. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Why is there snow? Oh, I guess it's not coming through. Well, it's sort of kind of coming through. Man, for all the money I paid for this shed, it <laughs> better not be leaking in the roof. Oh, anyway. Lots of fun. So, yeah. Um, with that, I'm going to leave you guys. And we will see you in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button. And subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we should probably turn the lights off in our garage. So we don't run up our electricity bill. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.